I 23F saw a message on my boyfriend's 26M watch saying he doesn't want to get married. I was brushing my teeth in the bathroom after the shower and my boyfriend's Apple Watch was on the counter. It lit up with a Facebook message. I glanced over at it and it was from an old co-worker of his. This lady has caused problems in our relationship before and I've made it very clear I do not like her. My boyfriend has many lady work friends and I am 100% okay with them. Except this specific lady has tried crossing boundaries with him that I was not comfortable with and I've made it clear to him I don't appreciate her. Anyways I clicked on the message, even though I shouldn't have. That was my first mistake. They were having a casual conversation and she had asked, How are you and your girl? When are you getting married? And he replied saying, I don't believe in marriage. I thought you knew this about me. Now this is news to me. Was he trying to be funny with her? Was he trying to be flirty? IDK, this lady also has a boyfriend. My boyfriend and I have been together for three years. Thinking about it now, he never really brings up marriage. When we do talk about marriage he always says that he wants to get married after we buy a house, which realistically will be in about two to three more years. Now I don't mind waiting, that's not my problem. I just don't want to waste my time waiting to marry someone if they don't even want to get married at all. Now I'm wondering if he's saying the house thing just to put the conversation off. I don't know how to approach the situation considering I went through the messages. What do I do? Edit. We have talked about having kids too. We also talk got these rubber wedding rings for fun last year and he would wear it to work and stuff. We've never had any major relationship problems. I guess I'm just taken back by his comment. Along with everyone's sound advice on the relationship. Do not do not buy a house with this person. You guys need to have a very long, very honest talk. Bear in mind that he had no reason to lie to her, he does have motive to lie to you. Also, if you have pooled finances at all, get that shit sorted. Open a separate individual bank account and figure out what percentage of the joint savings is reasonably yours and transfer it into the individual account. I know that's a big step, so take it only if you think it's the best decision for your own interests. So, look, you made a mistake opening the text. Beyond that, here we are. Emo, two options. You can own up to it and have a necessary convo about marriage. Or, wait a few months without owning up to it and have the necessary convo. If you bring it up RN and don't own up to the text, he'll know you saw it. Talk to him. Three years together is enough time to know each other reasonably well. Tell him it's time to update your plans for the future including a timeline for marriage and for children. If marriage is important to you, say so. Agree on a deadline and hold him to it. If you are not married by that date you are moving on. As I said, you want an update, you don't need to refer to what you saw. I wish you good luck. If you truly want marriage, then it probably isn't gonna be with him. Just be honest. His watch lighting up with messages from her and looking at them isn't that big of a deal, especially compared to what he's doing. If he tries to make it about you looking at his messages, he's just trying to deflect and get the attention away from his own actions. But don't avoid this topic. You deserve to receive the truth and have only the truth shared about your relationship behind your back. Your mid-twenties, spend your money on something else. I think you can discuss marriage with him without mentioning this lady friend or his messages. If you wanna get married, you need to be with someone who does too. It is a very normal conversation. To me, it sounds like he plans on stringing you along till you're stuck in huge financial commitment then denying to marry you. Oh yes, and he seeks validation in the form of attention from other women. Lovely man. Talk turkey to Tom. It appears he was more honest to her than he has been with you. He is procrastinating, I believe. Maybe yes, leave. You may not get him to get out of his own, shower, because he is cozy where he, pees. Why does this woman need to text anyways? She needs to delete his number. She can see him at work. Believe what he said. I doubt he's lying to her. Why would he lie about that in a private conversation with a friend? And even if he was, his reasons are probably very shady. Either way, at this point I would take him for his word. He isn't committed to this relationship to the same level you are and for me, that would be more than enough reason to break up. 
Whatever you do do not buy a house without being married. Make it a deal breaker and tell him so soon. There are also good financial reasons for this so it shouldn't be hard to defend why. That message combined with what he's said to you strongly points to him tricking you into committing yourself financially before he drops the no marriage bomb, making it harder for you to leave. So you're uncomfortable with this specific woman, she crosses boundaries, yet he is still talking to her? That's an issue in itself, in my opinion. This sounds like my ex. The same sort of situation came up in year three of our relationship, we ended up getting married and bought five houses together. Fast track another three years and we are now divorced. He strung me along to build up his wealth and pretty much remarried as soon as the ink was dry. Follow your gut. I wish I did. You are worried about him not wanting to marry. Um he was messaging someone that caused problems in your relationship in the past. Surely sorting this out would be a first step. He is never going to marry you. He's giving you reasons to put it off. Why would he lie to her? Why is he still talking to her? Do you want to go through another two, three years, only to find another reason for him to put things off? Six years is a lot of time to sink into someone who doesn't want the same things, believe me. Bring it up, in a cool clam situation, at dinner not in an argument and get to the bottom of it, don't be placated you need to know if this is going somewhere. Always be honest, seeing his phone light up and reading the messages is absolutely nothing, it's just curiosity, I always laugh at how nebby I am, don't be ashamed. I would make time to have a real conversation about him about what he would like in the future realistically to see what you should do moving forward. If he does admit he do as not want to get married then you should think about what you really want and if you can live with that lifestyle or not. It's completely up to you, don't be afraid to talk about these topics as it is your life that's affected you seem to know what you want it would be nice to have some honesty about your other half. You need to have the conversation. Please please have the conversation before getting stuck with a house with a guy who doesn't want to marry you. Don't buy a house with a man you're not married to. This lady has caused problems in our relationship before and I've made it very clear I do not like her. We've never had any major relationship problems. Before approaching this take some time to take stock of your relationship. Really think about what happened with this coworker that crossed boundaries and what your boyfriend's role was. I think you also need to start questioning your own feelings about, I don't mind waiting, this man could very well be wasting your time. As many of us would suggest, I'd say to talk to him. Own up to what you saw and talk about it. Make your own assumption about him and what you think going into it, and then make another after you talk. Be open-minded, and remember, he totally could have said that just to get that lady off his back. I know that when some annoying person bothers me I tell them lies about what I like to make me seem less interesting or worth their time. Three years is a long time to be with someone. Have y'all spoken about marriage before because I feel as though after a year that comes up in situations? Also, you mentioned that this person in particular has been discussed between you two before. Was the end conclusion that he would no longer speak to her or at least let her know that there are boundaries? Because if that woman knows more about his views on marriage than his girlfriend does then there may be a bigger issue here. You could start a casual conversation. Oh I saw XX getting engaged over New Year. I would be lovely when all this is over to go to XX and have an engagement party what do you think? Or, with the current situation I want you to be my next of kin. What do you think about getting married soon, or a serious sit down about compatibility, or a light hearted talk? Just communicate your needs clearly, you want to get married, and you are getting the feeling that he is not as bothered and you would like to talk about that, in a calm and adult manner. I think having years under your belt prior to marriage is smart. However, if he has reasons to lie to you and not her then I'd definitely bring it up with him. Don't waste your time on a man who isn't worth it. If he loved you he'd be honest with you. Marriage doesn't matter to me and neither do I want kids however I make sure to tell any partner my thoughts on such a life, because it's important, please speak with him sad face and good luck. Some people don't want to get married. Some people are fine being unwed life partners. You can do legal paperwork to make someone your medical decision maker or put anyone you want in a will. Just because he doesn't want to be married doesn't mean he doesn't want to grow old beside you. He's clearly keeping his options open. 
Talk to him about this, or get out of this relationship. Talking to this girl behind your back when he already knew you were uncomfortable with their relationship is already a red flag. He does not respect you, so please respect yourself. Well now you know the truth, he is not ever going to get married. Are you okay with this? Do you want to move on to someone who does? When you talk to him about this today be sure to use no emotion or evasion, just come right R and tell him when you read. Just be honest with him about everything and lay it all out. You're not here to argue about invasion of privacy or even trust, you just want to know if you're on the same page about marriage. My brother doesn't believe in marriage, but he said he would do it if it meant that much to his so. I'm saying this because, if he truly cares about you, he will at least find some middle ground, or get married to satisfy you. You just need to have a talk with him until both of you agree on something. Okay so this was me being naive six years ago. I was with a guy for six years. Said he wanted marriage kids the whole package. Convinced me to buy a house first so we did. Eventually when I started nagging about when we would at least get engaged he decided to admit he didn't want marriage or our kids. We broke up. Had to fight over the house and belongings within it. I wasted six years and broke my own heart being naive. Run away. Emo, if he has nothing to hide, then looking at his texts shouldn't be a problem. If you want to marry this person, you should be able to be open and honest with him. I personally don't think I would trust him if he is telling someone that you don't like, and she does seem suspicious to me as well, that he doesn't believe in marriage. Sit down and talk to him. Tell him you saw the text. If he gets pissed off about your snooping, then that is a huge red flag. He is diverting from the real issue. Also, what is he hiding? I know a lot of people are saying he is stringing you along, but it could also very well be that he just thinks differently about marriage. Maybe he wants to marry, i.e. do the paperwork, but doesn't see it as this big life-changing event. So he just wants to sign the marriage contract so the law recognizes your relationship, but otherwise wants to go on like you were already doing. I do agree that you need to talk about marriage ASAP, but it might not be as bad as you might think especially if your relationship is great otherwise. So just go into the conversation open-minded. Forget about the marriage issue. Why is he talking to other people especially a woman you've got issues with about your relationship, more than you? I've been married 15 years. Why the hell does everyone keep acting like opening the text wasn't okay? Know what texts Facebook posts, private messages my wife can read. All of them. I don't give a shit. Know when I will give a shit? Write about the time she needs to read them. Look. Confess you saw his convo and have an honest talk with him. Chances are he said he plans not to get married to throw her off his back. Because in case she insists on stealing him from you the thought of never marrying may crush her fantasies. On the other hand if he doesn't believe in marriage you should try to meet in the middle, justice of peace, or at least understand him. There are people who spend their whole lives together and don't get married. Some view it as a waste of money. Others especially men are scared at the thought of alimony. If marriage means a lot to you then this relationship is done. You two should have similar end goals when it comes to your relationship. Have an adult conversation with him. Ask him if he wants to get married or not, and, importantly, why. Odo, I should point out that you need to think on whether or not you want a marriage, or if you'd be as happy with one of the alternatives such as a partnership. It might be that he has reasons you don't know about that make him less enamored of marriage. That said, why is he still chatting with that woman? You need to tell him you saw the message and that you need to have a serious conversation. Nothing wrong about not wanting to get married, especially as young as you two are. Heck when I was 26 the last thing I ever saw myself doing was getting married. I am currently very happily married. Sometimes things change sometimes they do not. Honestly, I'm going to be the oddball here, but I think he said that to her to keep her hopes up about them, he and the co-worker, getting together in the future, and to deflect the question. She asked so she could see where she stands with him and he basically told her she still has a chance. Sorry, but that's what I get out of it. What is the huge fascination with marriage? If you love someone and enjoy your time together, why would it be considered wasting time if you don't get married? Marriage doesn't guarantee loyalty or commitment, 
All it does is make things harder to get out of if a problem should arise. I will marry you if you don't want to lol. You've been with him for years. Just talk to him about what you saw. No need to, not buy a house with him, unless you really don't want to. Own up to your mistake but reinforce how you don't like that one lady. Just have an adult conversation. Definitely sounds like he is using the house as an excuse to hold it off. I say this because he has no reason to say that to her and follow it up with, you know this about me. This is why marriage should be a full-on discussion with honesty and seriousness. Side note, do not buy a house with someone you're just a girlfriend to. That never ends well. Are you from the US? I am a late so my advice will be useless if you already spoke to him. My advice is to make a trap to see if he has SMTH to hide. I have no many ideas but maybe just say ask him he still speak with that girl. Nothing yet to be worry about but try not to depend too much from him for a while. For me it's a massive issue in the first place that he continues to entertain a woman who has actively caused problems in your relationship. Most sensible loving partners would keep people who try to come between them and a partner as far away as possible. As for the marriage thing I suppose that's a conversation you'd need to have. The big issue here for me is why he would do the thing with rings and such like with you. But then tell another woman who has shown interest in him that he doesn't want to plan to marry you. That seems highly suspicious to me. That message lit up at that time for a reason. The universe is sending you some sort of warning. If you ask him now if he actually wants to get married he will know that you looked at the message. But I wouldn't wait, because if you actually want to get married and he doesn't then there is a problem. I would own up and tell him that you saw his message to the old co-worker on his watch and ask him straight up how he feels about marriage. What is the problem? I would think that it is better to end up spending your life together without some government contract saying that you will. Marriage is pointless. Nothing happens and guys have even less to gain from it and everything to lose. While I think it's a red flag he talks with her after she's crossed boundaries, the whole not wanting to get married doesn't seem like a issue. I tell my girlfriend all the time straight up we're not getting married. I told her if she wants to get engaged so she can show off that's fine as long as she buys a big ring I will actually wear, but marriage is not on the table for me at this time. You must have the difficult conversation. You can't let him brush you off. You have to keep pushing even though it will be awkward. Be prepared to challenge him. He has more reason to lie to you than he has to lie to this woman. I'd be more concerned about you checking his messages than marriage tbh.